As it turns out, I did manage to get a little bit of dev server gameplay with the F14B before the dev server actually closed. I hadn't uploaded it yet because the whole fiasco with the economy and protesting was going on, so we covered that first. But here it is, the F14B in War Thunder. I'm just going to start and cover the basic stuff that I think you need to know. Uh, nothing too in-depth, just the overall thoughts and opinions on the plane and how it's going to fit into top tier. Starting off, the AIM-54C on the dev server was a copy-paste AIM-54A. There's nothing about it that's different right now. Uh, that, of course, could change in the future, but don't expect it to be that much different than the AIM-54A. I know the C is supposed to be a smokeless motor. I would not hold your breath for that to ever actually be added to War Thunder anytime soon. I... I'm fairly confident pretty much all of the missiles are going to stay as smoke motors, even if they're supposed to be smokeless. The radar that will be guiding your missiles is the exact same radar featured on the F-14A, but I do want to point out that on the dev server, the F-14 radar is a little bit nerfed. The scan speed is quite a bit slower than it was on the live server. So will this change go forward onto the live server when the update comes out? I would assume so. but. Again, it is dev server. One thing I really want to make sure to showcase here is the cool little camera, the identification camera that the F-14B has. It actually is modeled in War Thunder, obviously, probably not very realistically. And how far, like how useful is it? Uh, I'll let you decide that, but it's a little bit glitchy. It's a little bit spazzy. It's kind of shaking all over the place, but I do, I, I can possibly identify what kind of plane it is from a pretty far range with the camera. And if you can get past all the shakiness, you can probably honestly tell whether or not a plane is carrying missiles. Uh, maybe you want to see if they have a specific kind of missile left or if they've shot it off. Maybe it's something late game. Again, how useful any of this is going to be is pretty marginal, marginal for the average RB player. If you're in sim, maybe a little bit more useful. But for the average RB player, uh, it's nothing more than just a gimmick. It's kind of neat, but probably not going to be very practical practical in any sort of way. You still get AIM-7 Sparrows with this F-14, just like the last F-14. I believe they're the, uh, the AIM-7Ms, although it doesn't matter. Whether it's an F or an M, it's the exact same thing in War Thunder. So, uh, the AIM-9L is also on the F-14. AIM-9L is still a fantastic missile. Most people are probably only going to be running two of those, but you can run a max of four AIM-9Ls. And then, of course, you also have your, AIM your M-61 Vulcan. If you hadn't noticed yet, the F-14B also has its own little exhaust flame. I have not seen any other top tier jets use this exhaust this exhaust flame, so I guess that's kind of cool and unique. It does look pretty nice, but in general, War Thunder's exhaust flames don't look that great compared to some other games out there. Um, but again, this one is a little bit better than a lot of the other ones are, so I guess eh, in the end, that's kind of neat. Flight performance wise, you have more powerful engines than the F-14A by a pretty considerable margin. These things give you a lot more thrust on the lower speeds and it's just going to get you up to speed all around quicker. Your energy retention is going to be quicker while maneuvering. Uh, the only thing that in theory would be worse about these engines versus the F-14A is extremely high speed at extremely high altitude. Basically completely unrealistic for a normal uh, War Thunder match, but the F-14A would be a little bit faster on the top end with a bit more extra thrust at high speeds. Again, this is never going to happen in a real War Thunder match, so just the blanket statement of the F-14B engines are better, I think is reasonable enough to say. Maneuvering wise, it is still very similar feeling to the F-14A. Uh, the stronger engines make you lose speed a little bit slower, well, considerably slower while maneuvering, so you might not feel like you can pull as much AOA because your plane just doesn't really want to slow down to pull that kind of AOA, unlike the F-14A, which could bleed speed a little bit uh, more rapidly with the weaker engines. Not necessarily a good thing, but it could be a good thing if you really need to pull in. Of course, you can always compensate for this by pressing some air brake or cutting throttle to make yourself slow down quicker with the F-14B, and you're basically exactly uh, the same maneuverability level as the F-14A. It's really good at extending its wings to the forwardmost position and just holding S on planes. The F-14A was good at this, the F-14B is no exception, and it's honestly better at it because the engines are better. However, that being said, let's talk about some of the planes that it's going to struggle with. This plane, I'm telling you right now, is not going to be a hard counter for the R-27ER 
on the MiG-29 by any stretch of the imagination. It's got M54Cs, yeah, but the M54C right now is exactly the same as the M54A, and honestly, I could see it coming to the live server exactly the same as the M54A. There is a very small difference between the two missiles, and one of the main differences, the smokeless motor, like I said, is probably not going to be modeled. If you ask me, there's just nothing more meta than, an, than a MiG-29 carrying R-27 ERs right now, and I really don't see the F-14 being something that's going to change that. I will say that I think the F-14 being spammed out is probably going to have an impact on the MiG-29 win-loss ratio because, in general, there's not nearly as many MiG-29s as there is viable US counterparts. You know, in any given ARB match, you see a plethora of F-16s and F-14s, and together, they make a pretty strong team. However, on the flip side, you have the MiG-29, and that's pretty much all there is to counter the F-16 and the F-14s. And they're usually not as strong in numbers or spammed out. So. I, I'm not saying the MiG-29 is going to absolutely crush and slam top tier and be constantly winning. I'm just saying, like, plane for plane, I think the MiG-29 is still going to be the most meta top tier jet in the game. In a 1v1, if you want to talk 1v1s, the MiG-29 is going to beat the F-14B pretty handily. We're talking dogfights here, where the missiles probably aren't going to be hitting each other. We're going to assume there's two competent pilots that know how to avoid semi-active radar homing missiles and inevitably going to emerge. The F-14B the F is going to struggle, and it's going to struggle pretty badly against a competent MiG-29 pilot that's probably going to end that fight relatively quickly. The F-14B with a disciplined and good pilot can put up a fight. I'm not saying it can't, I'm just saying the MiG-29 has a lot of cards and a lot more advantages going into it. Epic gameplay on the screen right there as you watch me miss a stalling out AI J8. I do want to say the AI on the dev server were literally more competitive than most of the players I encountered, but of course there's no excuse for that in there. I was just fumbling with my controls and trying to get the lead indicator to pop up on my screen. It never did, and so I just kind of ended up doing that. F-14B versus an F-16 in a 1v1. How does that look? Well, the F-16 still wins. It can beat the F-14B. Uh, pretty consistently. Not nearly as easily as a MiG-29 is going to. The, again, the F-14B can beat either of these planes. It's going to have a really hard time beating the MiG-29 though, and it's going to have a fairly difficult time beating a disciplined F-16 pilot. As you guys know, the average War Thunder player out there at top tier is not exactly knowledgeable in what to do with a dogfight, so I, I trust that you're going to be getting plenty of dogfight victories with your F-14B. And you know what, like I said, the plane's completely capable of, capable of that, especially combined with the fact that most top tier players aren't going to know what they're doing. The performance is at least that good. All I'm trying to convey here is be careful about a uh, competent looking player in either of those planes because they're going to give you an extremely difficult time. And as upgraded as this F-14B might seem, it's still not going to be top dog in a dogfight compared to what we already have. Let's get away from the 1v1s now because let's be honest, that doesn't happen all too often in a normal top tier game, does it? The F-14B is still extremely, extremely competitive and in my opinion the MiG-29 is more meta but if you think the F-14B has more potential to carry matches and impact a game then I'm not going to argue with you. This plane is fantastically, it's, it's equipped with fantastic armament and fantastic capabilities for an RRB match. You get an unlimited amount, seemingly, of missiles to throw at enemy players. You have great, great flight performance, good enough at the very least, to handle most threats in an RRB match. And I am going to tell you right now, I am going to definitely prefer playing the F-14B in an ARB game than I am going to the F-16. Because at this point, there's really not a whole lot that the F-16 has going for it over the F-14 other than just raw dogfighting ability. And like, like I said, 1v1s aren't going to happen that often in a real top tier game. The F-14 has the same missiles plus the Phoenix, and it has more of them. It's got a better radar, and it has pretty much just as good flight performance for most of the situations you're going to be in. Again, I just think that the MiG-29 with the 27ER is at a point right now where you're just not going to see any kind of real counter or real counterpart to it in any near future. Because honestly, I think the next best thing that the Americans can have to truly uh, 
go up against the MiG-29 competitively and consistently competitively, it would be something like an AIM-120A or AIM-120B even. I don't think that's too advanced for the R-27 in Warzoner because at the end of the day, you can just fly low to the ground and avoid any radar missile, right? doesn't matter what it is, they don't hit you if you're flying over the ground. And kinetically, from my understanding, the 2070R is still pretty similar to the capabilities of the AIM-120B. Of course, 120B being different in that it's an active radar homing missile. But as far as semi-active radar homing missiles go, I just don't see Russia having any kind of real counterpart in the near future. They could have the F-15 in the game right now with only Sparrows and AIM-9Ls, and I don't think it would be better than the MiG-29, or at least more meta than the MiG-29. So basically what I'm saying is F-15 when? Uh, but no, seriously, the F-14B is going to be a fantastic plane. I would not shy away from grinding it. You'll probably enjoy it more than the F-16 even. Uh, but until then, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll let you know how it goes on the live.